Okay guys, I found out what the traceback was. It was because I had a old version where this was a bug. So I have, I have downloaded the Blender 2.65 and exported it with the Unreal exporter, with the UDK exporter. Just click on the amateur and then export now. And then it should work. Now going to UDK, import and then amateur PSK import. Then just click on it. Okay, I won't do this now, so cancel. Now I have imported it, click on to save, and save. Okay, now double click onto the amateur, or to the mesh, and you can click onto the skeletal. You see it says the, at the right position. So go to anim, anim set, now choose the K anim human base mail, and you see, wait, and you see, it moves very good. So we have made everything right. Just the PSK PSA exporter was broken. So when the traceback error comes, just download another version. Okay, now try out everything. Yeah, pick up, swim. This looks so good, as you can see here, but when you do it much more much better than I, it will look also much better. So when you have enough time, just do it very, very good. Then it looks very, very good. But I won't do this now. So click on to save. Yeah. Okay, now go to the, your UDK directory. The UDK. Then go to development, SRC, UT game, classes. Now search for UT family info. And yeah, let's see, UT family info Leandre and UT family info Leandre mail. Okay, now here at UT family info Leandre mail, you can choose your character mesh. So go to your character, right click, copy full name to clipboard, go to UT family info Leandre mail and copy it at character mesh. So here, copy. Here you can also, no, here you can't choose, here you can choose your anim set and everything, but we won't do that now, so save. Now go to UT Family Info Leandre. Here you can choose your Sklatl Mesh, so put in your Sklatl Mesh. And you can also choose sound packages, like, where is, somewhere you can choose sound packages. Here, voice class, you have to go to class UT Voice Robot, or to class UT Pawn Sound Group Leandre, and there, you can choose the sound, but I won't do that now. So yeah, let's try it out. Go out, UDK, and restart it. Whoop, no, UDK, no, 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 this here, and restart it. So yes. Now script outdated, yes. We'd like to rebuild it now, and rebuild it. Rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. And zero warnings, that's good. So you DK. Go in and open the program. And wait. Wait, wait. So in UDK, we go to view, browse, actor classes. Player start, UT team player start, go into Kismet, right click, new team player, blah blah blah, new action, actor, actor factory, spawn point, new event, now load, adjust the other board now, so yeah, you don't have to do this. So sequence actor, factory, UT factory AI, force death match, no, yeah, force, no, control class, no, pawn class, UT pawn, and yeah, let's see, view, rare properties, game type, UT deathmatch. Okay, before we start now, let's go to the content browser, go to UT3, characters, here go to Liam Cathode, double click, Go to the socket manager, 
and click here. Here, copy sockets. Okay. Now go to our char. So our scatter mesh. Go to the socket manager and click paste. And now you see, there it is. So we can put the head chart gore socket a little bit up. So when you shoot onto the head, he will die with one shoot. So yeah. And save. Let's start it out. Oop, no. Play from here. What? <laughs> ah, I have spawn. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Spawn point. Active factory. <laughs> UT Factory AI Force Damage AI Pawn Cloth UT Pawn <laughs> And now we see, here is our char It is in the air because We have to adjust this Go into your Sklat Smash And now put it to 50 the origin So origin, origin set to 50 To minus 50 Let's see. Back from here. And now he stands on the floor. Let's try it out, out if, if all has worked. You can also see that he isn't, the weapon isn't at the right position, but you have to control this with the sockets. Yeah. Let's make one shoot. Ah. Yeah. Now here start. Yeah, that is how you make a custom char in UDK. This is just the basics. You can also adjust everything so that it's much better. But yeah, we, I won't do this now, but you can do it. Let's test it out another time. To shoot a little bit. Headshot. Can we get one? Okay, here we have to put it to T. Bam. Okay, to minus 90. So yeah, you have to adjust this stuff, but... Yeah. Let's see. Bam. Yeah. Now it's the right position. Um. Yeah, that's it how you make a custom join in UDK. I hope you enjoyed it and if there are any problems, just leave a comment out. Yeah, just leave a comment and bye until next time.